Hello and welcome to another video. Today we'll be having a fresh look at Quick Magic AI. Quick Magic AI is an AI powered mocap software that you can use in your browser. So why use Quick Magic? Quick Magic is AI powered. It is fast, relatively fast, and it's in my opinion very impressive for what it does. So it doesn't require any fancy suits nor multiple cams to capture it. So we'll have a quick look at uh, the improved possibilities of Quick Magic, and I'll show you guys some examples of uh, some captures that I've done with it. All right, let's start this video maybe with a quick overview of what Quick Magic is offering. So Quick Magic offers you to uh, extract motion capture data based on a video capture. It has some limitations though, as you can see, it only supports a maximum size of 200 megabytes as well as uh, a maximum length of 60 seconds. However, as of right now, you can only use the single person option very soon. They will have a multi-person possibility coming up as well as it provides some different export options, such as different uh, bodies uh, suited for different software. So I'm mainly using the Unreal 4 uh, mannequin as that is kind of an industry standard uh, and is accepted on multiple software. However, in terms of capture, we can choose from a full body, upper body, hand and face capture, although some of them have some weird quirks, such as the face capture that basically only takes a facial expression and not so much the face rotation. But okay, we'll have a look into it and see how it performs. So an additional feature of Quick Magic is their QM Animator. QM Animator allows us to replace our uh, person in the footage by uh, one of these characters. As of now, you can only select a Miku model as well as one possible environment. And here you can upload the video to do just that. This will transform the environment and only capture the motion data and um, basically auto rig it to the Miku character. Another feature is a CG feature. And what this allows us to do is to replace uh, the person in the footage by a CG character. As of now, we can only use this standard bot, but I assume that pretty soon they will allow us to up uh, upload their own characters uh, similar to other software. So let's uh, dive right into the examples and see how well it did. Okay, so here is an example of the MMD feature. We will see how well it performs. So on the top left corner, you have the original video as well as here the retargeted video without any retouching. So let's give it a go. I put the music extremely low and I will talk very shortly over it so we don't get like copyright striked. But as you can see, kind of it's performing very well. Sometimes it has uh, a few little head glitches. However, we see very little foot sliding or any of that. So I think that's great. And it's beyond my expectations from what I thought was possible from a simple video. So this is great. I love this feature. And I'm looking forward to being able to import our own um, backgrounds and characters. Cool, so that's one. Then we can also look at the CG mode. So here you see it kept the background of our original video, but it replaced the, uh, the dancing guy by a uh, robot, which is pretty amazing, pretty cool. We've seen other software like Wonder Dynamic do this and, and in a much better fashion, in my opinion. But again, this is not the main selling point of quick magic AI there. They are basically into the mocap part of things. But uh, again, I expect them to give us more options in the future as well to, uh, as well as to allow us to upload our own 3d models. Okay. That being said, let's see how well the capture is done. So I have a few examples here and what I wanted to show is one of the captures as well as this the this 2d refinement option so within this 2d refinement option what we can do 
is basically retarget our character. So here, as you can see, everything is pretty neat and we can go frame by frame. And if there is any point of the animation that we don't like, we can adapt it here. So this is great, great feature. I think the implementation is also very nicely done. And now I will show you what this data looks like when we export it. So this is what it looks like as a final result. And of course you can take on this data, do something with Config UI or eventually import it into something like Unreal Engine and have your character do this exact moves. So yeah, that's that. That's Quick Magic AI. I will leave a link in the description down below for you guys to try this out. Okay. Cheers, like it, dislike it, I'm out.